Hey guys, I'm LB, and if you remember last time we left off in this little corridor in the Inquisition from part 3, now we're in part 4 by Serious Business. Beauty. Right, and the rest of the description is the same as, as it always is. Let's get started. Oh, hello there. What do we have there, huh? Hmm? Wait, what? Am I, was I supposed to go here? Where does this go? This goes to a place. That's definitely a place. Where does these other places go? Hmm... Well, there is another chamber here. This is definitely an easter egg area, though, I think. Where does all this go? What? <laughs> okay then. Yeah, this is definitely an antechamber style Easter egg area. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Wait. Whoa. There's so much of this. This is a very elaborate Easter egg. Y'all- y'all can pause if you want to read that. Interesting. Was there a door in the other one? I don't think there was. This one doesn't open, though. It's got a camera above it. With a speaker. Hmm. What was the other one again? Yeah, there was definitely not a door or camera there. We haven't even gotten to the map yet. Hmm. Beauty, that's the one we're in right now. Right? What is with this, though? I don't- it's just- just a meme for the sake of having a meme here? Interesting. I wonder if we bring something here, if that door will open. Is there even anything behind there? There is something behind there. Right, so. That's definitely something we'll want to keep in mind in that case. Is it possible to get back up here, once we're out down there, right? Well, that's what I wanna know. Not... especially. Hmm... I don't really see... anything in particular that we could bring with us. Looks like we could get a cube, maybe? But that cube dropper is pretty far away from... Anything really. Is there some other secret area that I'm missing? Am I supposed to be able to bring the radio? That's what I wonder. Can I pick this up? I can pick this up! What happens if we take this with us? Into the room that requires the camera? Will this do anything? Aha! The microphone next to the camera! <laughs> oh, the radio stopped. See, people were getting on me for not finding the easter eggs in all the previous maps. Not found some easter eggs that I didn't find. But, uh... Check this out, man. I have found this easter egg. Ooh. So I think this is like the decoded of the other easter eggs from the... the earlier maps. Cause you- you could get... the encoded messages in the earlier maps. Are those- why are those wrenches so bright? Why are these wrenches all white?
I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye there. This one can't be picked up, just this one. Interesting. Neat. Well, I think we're done with this Easter egg for now. But those chairs don't move, but the other ones do? Sure, whatever, that that, that makes sense. <laughs> Neat! Right, well... Let's actually get on with the actual map, we're, we're six minutes into the video and haven't even started playing the puzzle yet. Um, before I go... Right, this door. I can pick this up. Let's take this with us. Alright. Bam, there we go. Oh ho ho ho! Now that is a sudden... ...shift in the atmosphere. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> can this fizzle? Indeed it can! Oh, and we lost our portal up there. So it's a good thing I didn't come in here. That would've been bad news. That... is for a funnel, I presume. And there is said funnel. Hmm. And I am pretty confident... that that would reverse the funnel. Of course, we can't actually shoot a laser there. For obvious reasons. Hmm. That turns off that fizzler. Oh, that's useful. Let's do that first. Thank you. I do miss these these sound effects from the lasers that played during the game. Most maps don't really use them. Hmm. That didn't do what I expected it to do. That ant line just turned off the other fizzler. Yeah, it turns off the other fizzler. Okay, that ant line did not go where I expected it to. Right, well, that's okay. Let's just, uh. Where's a good place to put this? How about. right approximately here? That should work. So first of all, let's get ourselves... Wait, what actually is the best way to do this, though? Hmm. Well, let's just go up there for now. Can't hurt, right? Ah, oh, there's another laser. Ooh, that complicates things, I see. Uh, excuse me. Aim assist, thank you. I think we have this in a good position, we just want to place our black portal in a good position. Actually, let's do that. And that. And that should be sufficient to do this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Ah, uh, this is what reverses the funnel. Oh, hello there! Nice to meet you. How are you in this fine evening? Right, well, we really only needed, like, these two steps to get into the funnel, but whatever. <laughs> it's- it's fancy. So... Let's pull the cube in. Ah, I see, the steps are for us to grab the cube out of the funnel. Like we couldn't just jump and grab, but whatever. And... Don't really need to point it in any particular direction, although that... Is that even across from here? Not particularly. I'll just point it straight-ish. Whatever. Right. Here goes nothing. Uh, here goes nothing. There we go. So now we can come out here and yada yada, do whatever. I think we place a portal there that would get the cube off the button. Why, thank you! That's much appreciated. Does the cube auto-respawn? I don't actually know. Well, let's save here and find out. It does. Interesting. Hmm. So what do we want to what do we want to do with that information? That can get it out of the funnel once it's up there, yeah. So we can just basically leave it there and then decide to change our minds. 
Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Interesting. Hmm. Pretty sure it's not intended to jump into the funnel like that, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna... we're gonna do not that. Specifically not that. I think the first order of business will be getting the cube into this room, right? I think that's easy enough to do, so first of all, first things first, let's ride this back. Go all the way back. Take the cube. Put it on the button. Come on now. On the button, I said. There we go. That gets us back into here. And then... what do we want to do? We can do that. Not that it's particularly helpful, though. Got portals like that. But this isn't the cross from anything in particular. Hmm. I almost feel like we want to swap positions with the cube somehow, but I don't see a good way to do that. There's no other portal surfaces in there. Another question is, do we even want the cube in that room? Because we could just... Which room do we want the cube in? That's- that's the specific question I want answered. Because we could just put the laser pointed like that. Where's the exit? So this ant line goes to... Goes to there. So we are gonna need to be able to get back into here without clearing our portals, which is... Hmm, that's... alarming. But I think... I think we can for the most part, easily do that. The hard part is going to be... keeping portals up here or getting the laser up here still. I don't see a good way to get the cube up to us when we respawn it. I am rather perplexed. What is this button for? What is this fizzler for? Let's just do this again. Just cause it's, like... The only thing I know. I'm pretty sure it would not be intended to place our black portal as soon as that's going through. Like, we could totally do it, but I don't think it's intended. There's no portal surface that line up with what I'm standing on here. What? That's interesting. I guess because it goes in there a little ways. Strange. Hmm. Well, 
like, it almost feels like we would want to push the cube somewhere by having ourselves stand on the button. But I'm not sure where we would do that, because this- the Matter Inquisition field here never turns off. There's all these other portal surfaces around it for, like, pushing the cube around, pushing and pulling the cube on the floor, but they don't seem particularly useful, honestly. I'm not quite sure what to do here, to be honest. Because it would be trivial if if this were intended. Like if if this were intended, it would be trivial to do all this. But I'm pretty sure it's not intended. At least I don't think it is. Not quite intended solution, unfortunately. That's the only video is the not quite intended solution. And yeah, Nakas played it, but I don't know if he did it intended either. Hmm. Yeah, normally we can't jump into the funnel from here. Hmm. No other portal surfaces in this room. I am rather confused. There's no other cubes, right? There's only the one cube? Just that cube? Yeah, I don't see any other cubes anywhere. They're not, like, hiding one for me back here. No, this is- yeah, this is it. Look at that detail. All- all that... stuff back here. Just... just for this. See a reason we'd want to push ourselves out at all. What does it say about ninja moves or anything? Doesn't really say anything about what sorts of moves are and are not intended. I'm literally not sure. So Because we could do the thing where we- we place our portal in here as the cube is passing through that portal surface and it ends up in here. Or we could ride the funnel through here and do that as well. Both of those are options. But in both cases, we would lose access to the funnel in order to pull it off. Yeah, if we died- if we did either of those, it would no longer have the funnel on us. Ha. Huh. Not particularly useful, I don't think. At least I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to aim at these from the funnel. Hmm. And that's how we got up here initially. Well, I suppose let's just... I suppose let's just do one of these things. Yeah, we did that, that's- that's faster. And... let's do that, that's all I can think of, un unfortunately. Sorry if it's not intended, I can replay if need be. After the map is fixed, of course. Alright, so... We can do that. We can send the cube in there, but then... good luck. Good luck to ourselves getting in there. 
And it didn't even land on the button. Whatever. So then now what do we do? Yeah, we don't really have much in the way of options now, do we? This is, uh, pretty much... not good. Alright. Let's reload and try the other alternative. That is to say, switching the portals as soon as the cube's about to go through. Ouch! And we lost the music. Yep, music's lost, unfortunately. I apologize. Right, so... Yeah. Not sure how intense that is. That- that feels like a ninja move to me. Not sure about you guys, but it really feels like a ninja move to me. Right, so that allows us to at least get out of the room. Let's place this a little bit higher up. There we go. Yeah, that opens the exit, but, uh... It's a bit more complicated than that. It is rather a bit more complicated than that. Right, we don't need to use this laser. Let's go back up here again. Because we can instead do... Crap, which one is it? That one, there we go, we can do that. Plonk our portal in there, and do this. Did I save before getting rid of you? Fascinating. There's that problem solved. And... I thought you'd be faster at this. But I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. Yeah, I'm disappointed with that solution as well. That feels really not intended to me, because that completely trivializes the puzzle. Hmm... What would we do instead? I think we need to keep a portal up here somehow, but I don't know how to do that. Yeah, because we have to do the whole funnel business, we have to get the cube on that button in order to even get up here with- unless we have a portal up here already. Alright, so. Here's another thing we haven't tried. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this guy first of all. But anyway, yeah, let's just leave a portal up here. And then let's just drop down and see what that does for us, if anything. This doesn't go close enough to the dropper to pick up the cube in any capacity. There's no good way for us to get up there. Hmm. Also... Yeah, this is not looking too great, honestly. Not looking too good for us. And I don't think the fact that that exists now makes any difference, honestly. It's just a convenience as a place for us to stand. Hmm... In order to lift these up, we need to hit... that one, right? 
no good way to do that without losing our portals. Alright, let's reload again. Do that again. Just cuz. Just cuz why not. Yeah, but that's not particularly helpful. Oh, I am being rather dumb. I am being very much rather dumb. I figured it out. All right, let's do this and this, and then we don't actually need to take the cube all the way through the portal. Yeah, we can just set it down on the ground. There we go. And, uh, that camera is about to get murdered. There we go. Camera murdered. Right, so then... We can just, uh, just do that, like a normal person. Ooh, but then what? Hmm. Did not quite think this part through. Is there a portal surface on the floor we can put this on? No, there is not. Well, hmm. That is rather an issue, is it not? Because don't we want the cube on this button? I can't stand on the button and grab the cube. So... Maybe we don't need to? I feel like we need to, though. Yep, that's... that's a thing we can do. That's all fine and dandy. Cleverly, we can't walk into that portal surface to get to here, because as soon as we do this, yeah, there's no way to walk across that gap. Because if we could, then we could just walk through there and shoot the laser, which turns off the fizzler. Yeah, hmm. What might we do instead, though? I thought I was almost done here, but apparently not. There's no floor portal surfaces that I can see. Like, if, if I could just put the cube on the floor, I could portal it into here, with me. There's no floor portal surfaces. Would the cube fit in there? I don't think that's intended, but I could try it. I do not think it's intended, but it is worth a shot. Oh, but here's an issue. How do I actually get it in there? <laughs> uh, hmm... Cause I c cause... I think the cube would fit in there, but I would lose my portal upstairs if I put it in there.
Plus, normally when you've got a graded portal surface like that, it's not intended to shove cubes and other things in there. Huh. What am I missing? This laser is not at the same height level as anything remotely useful. It's like I can't put the cube, point it back- I can't point the laser back through the portal, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Cause that wouldn't point at anything. Cause everything worthwhile is on the ground level, whereas this laser is not on the ground level. And then there's nothing at this height level other than that. Yeah, there is- there is no getting the cube across the fizzler like that. That is not happening. We already know that when it's auto-respawning, that does nothing for us. What am I missing? Yeah, like I said, that's not particularly useful. There is a bug, I think. There's a one-frame bug. Not that we could use it, but I think I want to show it off, just- just for fun. Maybe it doesn't work. Oh, that worked! Yeah, the the one-frame bug is still here. Yep. That is the one-frame bug. And you should always be aware of that when designing your puzzles. Because, if that's connected to a cube dropper, you could- players can abuse the one-frame bug like that to drop the cube. That's why you want to use the- the B-mod delays and all that. Hmm... What to do? Let's restart. Maybe there is something else I can still do with the funnel somehow. I don't think so, but... it's worth a shot. Do that... Do that... Oh, not that, please. There we go, that's better. Um... Hmm. That's not even aligned with the button, why is that like that anyway? Why is that like that? Like, that gets better coverage of the button than that does! That's- that's bizarre. I don't understand that. Hmm... No, I'm not really seeing anything else we can do with the funnel. Once I end up in that room, I'm basically trapped and have to walk out here to clear my portals. And clearing portals is not something we want to do.
cube's never gonna be pointed at anything particularly useful, so... The physics wouldn't really allow that to work out for in our favor anyway. And that's not particularly useful. Or is it? That actually might be what we need to do. Hmm. Cause remember when I said we couldn't walk through that portal? How would that work though? That wouldn't work, no, that- yeah, we wouldn't be able to do that. Yep, that's not gonna work. Hmm. I am quite perplexed. We put it across from that all day. It's not gonna help. Man, it's really not gonna help, is it? Well, I suppose if we do this, it could maybe help. <laughs> yeah, that works. And what about... Oh, come on. How did I mess that up so badly? There we go, that also works. The issue is we can't actually do anything like that. Jump in this portal all day long, it's not gonna help us. Yep, that's pretty much a dead end for us. So I have questions. Before I load my quick save, I do want to test this. There's plenty of room, isn't there? This really doesn't feel intended, though. Haha. <laughs> well, come on now, I can surely fit here. Oh, and that's death. <laughs> Apparently, I cannot fit in there for some reason. That's strange. The cube has plenty of room to fit, but I don't. Why is it so loud every time? Jeez. Don't need to go back there at all. Not that we could. That's never gonna work, and it's never gonna be intended. I think I'm gonna pause here and try stuff off camera. I'll be right back. Right, so here's another cheaty thing I could do. I could put the cube right about there, you know, 
like you do. Plonk a portal, and then grab it through the portal. And... that would solve the puzzle for us. I, again, I am pretty... pretty darn sure... it's not intended, so... Back to the drawing board, I guess. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Overcomplications, right. Get rid of that. Get the cube into here. Maybe that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yep. Knock and I overcomplicated it exactly the same way. <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Knock. Thank you, Knock. Let's, uh. Yep, you can just waste the portal right there. Oh man. Look at that, look how easy that is! Totally overcomplicating this. Totally overcomplicating this. Right, well, found two ways to break it before we found the intended way, and I had to look at the solution to find the intended way. But hey, look at that! <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Portal, 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 and we're effectively done. Oh, that's aim assisted. Good, good news. I thought you'd be faster at this. Very nice work, serious business. My only recommendation is to make those unintended solutions I found actually impossible. So, uh, yeah, like for instance, it would be pretty trivial to just put grading over that surface. That would solve one of the unintended solutions. And then... I think... If you could change that area over there... To make it... Uh... Like you could make it so that players can't just put the cube next to the portal and then grab it out of the wall. Make this- just make this higher, I guess, really. That would work too. Or make these ceiling portal surfaces- No, no, you can't do a ceiling portal, because it, then you get funnel put yourself, yeah. And also- yeah, making these higher would also solve the problem of being able to jump from the button into the funnel, so yeah. I think that is all you need to do, and otherwise, this is a great map. Great puzzle, great work. Right. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Go to thinkingwithportals.com, it's a virus.